Hi, I'm James with British Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to install our Dakar exhaust system on this street scrambler. It's inspired by Dakar racing and we wanted to get the pipe down lower to get this high pipe out of the way for people that want to tuck in a little bit tighter to the bike. It's got cool dirt bike styling and uh, the Dakar system is what we came up with. First we're going to start by taking the seat off. Now we can take the tank off, get our 10 millimeter wrench, our 8 millimeter socket. We don't have to take the tank all the way off, we're just going to pull it back so we can expose the O2 sensor plug and unplug it. Helps to put a rag here because this cap, the tank ends up resting on it a little bit. You don't want to scratch your tank up. This is your O2 sensor. So you can see the plug is right here. It's usually attached there for some reason. It's not on here. But So to get your O2 sensor unplugged, there's a little tab right there. You need to lift that up. And when you lift that up, You can pull it apart. This little lock tab right there clicks into that hole. So you're just picking that up so this can slide out. So now we want to get this flange out of the way and we'll take that O2 sensor out of the head pipe. So with your 12 millimeter socket, take that nut off. So it's important that you unplug the O2 sensor for this step here because as you turn this out you're going to be twisting the wires up and you can damage your O2 sensor in here or up here. So if you have it unplugged that won't happen. So use your 17 millimeter wrench, loosen it up and now we can just spin it out. So now we want to loosen this clamp on the left head pipe. Use our five millimeter stubby Allen. Get in there. And then we want to loosen up the left head pipe. So now we just want to loosen this flange. We don't need to take it completely off. We're not taking that O2 sensor out and we're going to reuse this head pipe so they can just stay put. Okay, so now we want to remove the two bolts back here using our 12 millimeter socket. You have these spacer washers and rubber. I'm going to pull them out so you don't drop them. There's another one on the bottom as we pull the pipe out. You want to catch that. So now we're going to pull this exhaust outward and that's where you want to have your hand under here to get the spacers and the rubbers out so you don't fall and scratch a rim or something. Go forward. Now. So now we want to install our left head pipe connector pipe. We're going to get the clamp that comes with the kit and put it on. I'm just going to slide that on for now. Don't tighten anything up. So now you want to pluck your old gasket out of there. You're going to put the new one in. You can put a couple dabs of grease on the back side of it to help keep it in place a little bit until you get your pipe on. We want to put our O2 sensor on and put a little bit of anti-seize on there. You don't want to go crazy. You don't want any C's getting on the sensor itself. You only want it on the threads. 
screw that in. Our 17 millimeter, tighten that up. Then we can put that in place. Get our flanges. Got this slot here is for the O2 sensor, so make sure that one's on top. And these just fit into each other. And then onto the studs. Put the nuts on loosely for now. We can plug our O2 sensor in. Make sure it clicks like that. Pull on it, make sure it's good and locked. Back in place. So now we're gonna loosen this head pipe here and we're just gonna take it out enough to get the head pipe gasket out and we're going to put a new one in there and put this on loosely so we don't need to remove the O2 sensor here. So now just take a pick. Pull out the old one. I'm going to put in the new one. Put these nuts on loose for now. So now we're going to install the mid pipe here. So now we're going to take our spacer. We have our screw, we put a little Loctite on it. Make sure you use the washer with the screw. And this is a tight fit here. So you need to push on the pipe a bit to get it up there. If you can't get it aligned, you may have to give it a little tap with a rubber mallet or something. Don't use a rubber, uh, mal yeah. don't use a metal hammer. There's our six millimeter Allen. What could also help is if you loosen up your head bolts up here, the exhaust flange bolts, it can move forward a little bit. And that can help you get it on there. So don't crank it down just yet might need it to move a little bit. So next we need to remove this foot peg and we're going to remove that screw. We've got to install the spacer and a longer screw there. So start by taking this clip off. Push the pin out. You want to hold that peg in place because you got a little spring-loaded ball bearing right there, so you want to have your hand under it when you pull it out so you don't lose it. And with the eight millimeter, I'm sorry, six millimeter Allen socket and a 12 millimeter wrench.
So now we're going to install the tailpipe. And this is a tight fit going on here. So if you want to keep this end protected, protect your shock until everything's installed. Just got to wiggle it around a little bit. Okay, we want to put our black spacer in between the pipe and the foot peg. Going to get the long bolt from the kit, put it into our foot peg bracket. Make sure you have that pin lined up with that hole there. Put some blue Loctite on it. Slide through. We're going to get the nut that we removed. I'm going to put that on the back. And with our six millimeter Allen and our 12 millimeter wrench, tighten that up. Make sure you have clearance between your muffler and the shock. So now we can put our foot peg back on. Make sure our ball and spring are in place. We'll put the locator in. You want these facing away from the foot peg. They should lock onto the bracket that way. You can put a little grease on the bearing there to help hold it in place. Get the pin. Push it back through. Get the clip. So now we want to tighten up this nut uh, bolt. It's important that we tighten everything from the back going forward on this exhaust system. If you tighten from the front going back, nothing wants to line up. If you do it from the back, everything will fall into place. Here's your six millimeter Allen. Tighten that. Now we'll go put our springs on. So now we can put our springs on. It's your spring puller. Now we want to tighten down our right side head pipe. Start with our lower and then go to the upper using your 12 millimeter socket. Snug it down by hand first. The upper, go back to the lower. Okay. We get our torque wrench and we go to 10 Newton meters. Back to the lower again, and it's good. Now we can move to the other side. So now we'll tighten down the left side. Again, start with the lower using your 12 millimeter socket. Snug it down, snug down the top. Ten newton meters. Check the bottom again. It's good. Now we can tighten up our clamp here using our five millimeter Allen. Now 
you don't want to go too crazy tight on this because you could keep going so tight that you break the welds right off of there. So kind of got to use your judgment. It shouldn't have to take too much force. Once it gets tight, it's tight. Once this is fully tightened down, the clamp and the pipe should be flush with each other. At the end, you don't want this too far in because it might leak. And if it's too far over, it can leak out this side of the clamp. So they should just be even with each other. Now we can put the tank back on. It's important to make sure the locators, there's a little U-shape inside the tank there, should go around the rubber bumpers here. Slide our bolt through. Put the nut on the other side. Ten millimeter, eight millimeter socket. And we torque it down to eight newton meters. Now we'll put the seat on. So it's important to rub the stainless steel down with some alcohol. Clean all your handprints, any oil off of it, because it will burn into the pipe if you fire it up and you don't clean it. So we highly recommend that you tune the bike for a full system like this one. You can check out our tuning guide on the website. Thanks for watching.